Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com and I wanted to talk to you about some of the neat features that you can take advantage of when you've got the Git Jenkins plugin installed. So the first neat feature is the ability to pull your source code management repository. And so this is actually sort of a default feature that you've got inside of Jenkins, but doesn't work until you've actually installed a source code management plugin because by default Jenkins doesn't support any source code management tools unless you've actually got a plugin installed. So once you've got subversion installed or the git plugin installed, you can actually click this little build triggers option and choose when Jenkins will pull your source source code repository. Um, you can use a cron job syntax so you can have it do it hourly, every day, every month, well, anything according to a cron job syntax. And that way, Jenkins will pull your GitHub repository and take a look to see if there's been any kit commits or any changes. Um, now, one thing about that, that's a bit of an anti-pattern. So a better pattern, a better pattern is actually have your Git repository, your GitLab or GitHub repository called Jenkins instead of Jenkins pulling it. it saves a little bit of time, but it's a, a slightly better approach. Another neat feature is doing multi-branch builds. So typically when you go in and you just work with the Jenkins Git plugin off the bat, you're probably just going against your master branch. But you can actually specify multiple branches. And when the build job runs, it'll actually break the build into a, a separate build for each branch that you specify. So in this example, I've specified the master branch, the feature branch, and the fix branch. And when I run this build job, three separate jobs will run, each one building against a separate branch. A third neat feature is merging before you build. So if you're working on a feature and you want to bring that feature into the, the, the master branch, well, what you can do is you can simply say, hey, you know, I want this feature branch to merge into the master branch. Um, in this case, I've specified an octopus merge strategy, always my favorite, although probably not applicable here, but just looks cute on the screen. Um, and what will happen is Jenkins will actually do the merge, merge that branch that you've specified into the master branch or the, the branch that you are, are pulling down. Um, and then if the merge goes through and successful, well, all of a sudden you've now got uh, the build happening against the merge. Now, the corollary to that is this forge fourth feature, which is the Jenkins Git push. And so if your merge is successful, you probably want that local commit to actually go back to the source code repository. And so you can specify various things like, hey, you know, if uh, the commit actually succeeds, and or sorry, if the build succeeds, I want to actually take this commit that just happened and push it back to my source code repository. So that's a, a pretty neat and interesting feature that a lot of people that are working with Jenkins and are working with Git don't realize that they have available to them. And then finally, the fifth neat feature that you can use, and I think you have to have a, a more up-to-date version of, is it a more up-to-date version of Git installed? I believe so. Um, because uh, sparse checkouts haven't always been available. But if you don't want to bring in the entire Git repository when you pull your code down, uh, you can do a sparse checkout. And the Jenkins Git plugin supports this feature. So you just specify the path of where you want to pull in, and it'll do a sparse checkout for you. So that can be a real time saver, especially if you've got you know a few million lines of code in your repository. Anyways, that's it. So those are just some neat, interesting features that you can use with the Git plugin that a lot of people don't know are available, but you know they can really help your continuous integration and your DevOps transitions.